lining our gastrointestinal tract are villi. And on the villi is a receptor site. And that receptor site is to take the glucose through and into the blood. So on this villi, we've got a blood capillaries that go all the way through. Now in that receptor site is a carrier. And this carrier is designed to take the glucose through to the blood. But the carrier will not accept the glucose unless it comes with a molecule of sodium. I read this in my anatomy and physiology book. In the anatomy and physiology book, I memorized the sentence so I could give it to you from the horse's mouth. Sodium is the main transport system of glucose across the brush border wall and into the blood. And yet, what are we told? Don't eat salt. <laughs> Well, I agree with the table salt because it causes this imbalance of minerals in and out of the cell, absolutely. And did you know that sodium chloride is so strong it can kill the taste buds? Have you seen people that eat table salt? They put it on everything and they put it on before they've even tasted it. Well, no wonder their taste buds are dying. Whereas Celtic salt, with all of its minerals, it, it enhances the flavour of the food. Now, the red lentils we had this morning, a few people have said, what's in this? I've even served it at my house at breakfast, and people have said, is there chicken in this? And I know why they say that. It's because it's so flavoursome. Well, it has a little olive oil, some, some herbs, nice if you can get fresh, or Italian herbs, and some Celtic salt and a bit of turmeric. That's it. I rinse it very well. It must be rinsed well first. And I do that just before it's fully cooked. And yet, as you can see, it's delicious. See, I'm not interested in cooking up onions and garlic and much as I love that in my lentils, I'll do that at lunchtime. But in the morning, I've got hills to run up and down, creeks to jump in. I'm not interested in, in being in the kitchen for a long time. And that's a very quick dish to, to make. So sodium not only is required to get the glucose into the blood, it's also required to get the water into the cell. So it's sodium. It's the third most vital element needed for life. And you can get that information on the four vitals in any anatomy and physiology book, chemistry book, biology book. I'm just giving you the facts here. So as you can see, water is very important. But so is the salt. And again, the potassium is found in all your fresh fruits and vegetables. Calcium cannot get into the cell by itself. It needs vitamin D. When vitamin D is present, the calcium is pulled inside the cell. And remember, I showed you the other day that calcium is called the king because when it gets into the cell, all the other minerals piggyback on the back of calcium.